What happens when you die during a routine dental visit? You come back to life so you can meet your twin flame. Then he passes away, leaving you to carry out the mission. Today, we're going to talk to Alyssa Hope, the author of Hope from Heaven. Her book releases tomorrow on July 28th. And today she's here to share with us about her twin flame journey and how her message is about impacting the world in such a way to really grasp that spiritual journey as we navigate our love stories, our fairy tales that really are still happening even after life after death. So today I wanna to welcome Alyssa Hope. Hi, Dr. Harmony. How are you? It's so great to see you. Thank you. It's so nice to have you here today and share you with my audience. And so I would like to introduce you first. It's such an honor. So I will just start by saying, Alyssa reached out to me just before her book went through to publication and asked me to forward her book, Hope From Heaven. So I did the forward for her book. I read it and it will tell you, I could not put it down. I even read it in an entire weekend. I popped popcorn like I was watching a movie and it kept me so captivated that I literally was just sucked in. So I would like to introduce you. It's such an honor to introduce you. And I'm just going to start by sharing your actual uh, bio that's on your website. And people can reach you at your website at, is it alyssahope.com? Yes. Okay. Yes. And that's E-L-I-S-S-A hope.com. Yeah, exactly. So Alyssa Hope is a world-renowned spiritual motivational healer, speaker, and writer. Having stood before God in heaven and being sent back to her life as God's messenger and light worker to spread God's love, light, and energy throughout the world. Having died during a routine procedure, during a CPR, she was being performed, it was being performed on Alyssa and her whole soul left her body and she traveled to heaven where she came face to face with God. Being given a choice to stay in heaven or return to her life with an important purpose. Alyssa chose the purpose, and her mission is to make heaven a place on earth by enlightening everyone that God truly does exist in heaven, having stood before him herself. Alyssa travels the world to educate people about God's light, love, and spirituality, and her purpose is to help everyone live the life that God intended for her to live. So you can, again, get in touch with her at her website at twin. Oh, <laughs> you can get in touch with her at her website, alyssahope.com. And so I would like to open this question up for Alyssa. I have a few really impactful questions for her. How did your celebrity twin flame crush, Todd mm -hmm. Irvin, become your fairy tale, but yet was a part of your spiritual journey. And um, yes, it's it's quite a story. Yeah. When I so Todd Urban, he was a famous supermodel in the late 1970s and throughout the 1980s. So when I was only a teenager, I saw a picture of Todd in a magazine and I I just had like this Virtual awakening. As soon as I laid eyes on him, I said, I declared him my Prince Charming. I said, that's my Prince Charming, and I'm going to be with him one day. You know, I just, you know, I mean, I feel like my soul remembered and knew that we were actually twin flames, one soul that was split into two bodies and shared the same consciousness. But the rest of me did not, you know, did not know that. At the time, I was just thinking more like, you know, how, how every girl fantasizes about her Prince Charming, you know. So we actually, and I thought about Todd throughout all the years. And I even, this is really amazing. I was having this same reoccurring dream throughout my life after I saw the picture of Todd, but I did not know that it was Todd because in this reoccurring dream, it was him, but at the age that he was when I actually met him and I did not meet him until many years later when Todd was 
62 years old. So when I had only seen that modeling picture of Todd, he was only about 25 then, you know, in his 20s. So I had no, I would always wake up from my dream and say, who is this person? And in the dream, my mother was always walking me down the aisle. And this man, this mature man, you know, who turned out to be Todd, he was standing at the altar. And when my mom got with, you know, when we got to the end of the altar, Todd would put his hand out to me. And when I would go to take it, that's when I would wake up from my dream. And it just kept happening throughout the years until I met Todd. And then when I met him, I was like, oh, my God. You know, I realized. This How did you actually different. meet him? We met. And this is in my book years later after I was separated. And, I, you know, I would always think of Todd throughout the years. So one day I just decided to Google his name on the computer just to see, you know, I, just to see if he was even still alive. You know, I didn't know. So when I Googled him, I actually saw that he was now, you know, at the time, uh, an LMF which is a licensed and family marital therapist in Santa Monica, California. And it was right on his website, his email address. So I said, you know what? I think, you know, dare I do this? It was Valentine's Day. So I thought it would be cute. Maybe I'll send him, I'll email him a Valentine's Day message. You know, So I did and I told him to RS VP by midnight because I said, will you be my Valentine? <laughs> and I told him I had a crush on him for so long, you know. So I really didn't expect to even hear back from him. But to my surprise, I did. And the rest is history, you know, which you'll read all about in my book. But yeah. yeah. So let's briefly talk then about kind of leading back Prior to that, how you had your near-death experience came back to life and how that links to your purpose and your mission and then how Todd plays a role in keeping that journey moving forward for you. Yes. Okay. So when I died, I was 14 years old and I died at a dental clinic because my mom didn't have enough money. She was going to be going through a divorce and my dad wasn't giving her the money he usually did to take me to the regular dentist to have a cavity filled. So at the dental clinic, he obviously was not a good dentist. So he gave me too much nitrous oxide gas, which cut off my oxygen supply. I had no pulse. They were, they were going to give up on CPR because they just could not get my pulse back. So during that time that CPR was being performed, I mean, my soul left my body, traveled to heaven. And my three guardian angels, they were waiting for me in the light and they gave me the choice of staying in heaven or returning to my life with an important purpose. So obviously, you know, I chose the purpose. But when I was in heaven, I was really undecided because my guardian angels kept saying, if I stay in heaven with them, I'll be so much happier there than if I return to my life. And they said, and in exchange for being allowed to go back to my life, you know, it would be very challenging, but I would be sent back with an important purpose. So I kept saying, I have to go back. My mom really needs me. And I was, and then I was even crying because, you know, I just, I couldn't bear to leave my mom alone here on earth because I didn't even feel she'd be able to survive losing, you know, her only daughter. I had two older brothers, but my mother only wanted a daughter. So when I couldn't make up my mind, all of a sudden I hear footsteps and God walked right, right in front of me face to face. And God said, what's the matter, my child? Why are you crying? Why are you so upset? And I said, I have to go back. My mom really needs me. So God immediately turned to my three guardian angels. And he said, send her back immediately. 
And then he said to me, but I'm sending you back with an important purpose. And he said, once your soul is back in your body, you will not remember what it is until the time is right. It will not be fully revealed to you until the time is right. He said, because you're much too young now to handle such a big responsibility at only 14 years old. And which I agreed, you know, so my soul went back into my body and I still felt them doing CPR on me. And the dentist, he was frantic. He was screaming. He was crying. You know, he was telling the hygienist, don't stop. You know, we have to get it back. He said she's only 14 years old. So maybe about eight seconds later, the hygienist said there's a pulse now. And the dentist said, thank God. So I thought to myself, I already did. Thank God. you know. And wow. so just to make a long story short, because everything is in my book, how Todd is part of that purpose. Todd revealed my full purpose to me on the morning of his funeral. And it's a, you know, it's so amazing that I'm not going to say it now because you'll read it in my book, but it just will take your breath away. It's so beautiful. And Todd, he's guiding me from heaven to help me complete our twin flame journey together. And as a matter of fact, maybe it's because he knew I'm going to be on your show today that Todd came to me last night in a visitation dream. And it was so beautiful, you know, and he's just always guiding me, you know, and you know, I get I just, asked the question all the time about one twin flame having passed and is on the other side and how there's still that energetic connection, how there's still that communication and how there's still the direction and one's fulfilling the role in the 3D, the earth realm plane and the others on the spiritual realm. Can you share a little bit about just from an insider's perspective and, and giving these people some clarity that are going through this, because this is something that's pretty common that somebody's twin flame has passed and they know it and they're working from two dimensions. Can you share your experience with that and what advice you would give someone going through it? Yes. I have to say that your relationship with your twin flame actually gets a lot stronger and it deepens more spiritually when your twin flame dies and goes to heaven. And that's what comforts me so much. I didn't even know that Todd had died when he came to me in a visitation dream and he held me and he told me, told me that he loves me and will always be with me spiritually. And then I woke up and found out that he died. So I said, you know, he just left physically, but spiritually, he was showing me that he's still with me, that I shouldn't not, I'm, you know, that everyone should know, don't grieve, don't be so grief stricken, heartbroken. When any of your loved ones dies, you know, and certainly your twin flame, because they, they only leave their body physically, but spiritually, they're more alive than ever in heaven. And they're always with you, loving you, guiding you, protecting you. I feel closer now to Todd spiritually than I did even when he was here on earth. And I think that is very comforting for others to know. Yeah. And that's what I always say is sort of like the, it's a, the journey can be bittersweet sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that's also the bigger collective mission because it's about the mission. It's about the purpose, right? that your purpose, your journey, this book, this message would not be the same if it hadn't have unfolded the way it has. Right. Which I feel that, of course, it's all God's will and everything is already predestined. And as my guardian angels told me, and it's in my book, that everything was already written in the book. So my book, Hope from Heaven, was already, you know, written yeah. in the book. And this is the way, right, that God sent me back to my life to serve my important purpose, to be able to inspire and enlighten everybody, 
you know, all about that true love never dies. Mm -hmm. It is endless. And I think that is so comforting for everybody to know. And if I could just save even just one person from suffering, you know, and being so heartbroken and it, it just makes my it makes me so fulfilled and it was just so worth writing my book to know that one life has breathed easier because of you that is purpose and my purpose and it's been so healing for me that I wrote my book you know mm-hmm. and I and it's just it's what I'm doing with the rest of my life now until I can, until my time is up here again. And then I get to reunite, emerge back as one soul with God in heaven, you know, where we will be one with God for all of eternity. Mm-hmm. So just so everybody knows, you can check out the link for Amazon to get Hope from Heaven that is a pre order, but releases on July 28th. 2023 here coming up uh, tomorrow. And so one of the things though, I would ask you, Alyssa, what is the major takeaway you would like your reader to take away from the book and what impact will that make on their life? That God truly does exist in heaven, having stood before him myself and being sent back as his messenger and a light worker. And that, as I said before, true love never dies. It is endless. You leave your body behind physically, but spiritually you're more alive than ever. And your loved ones are always protecting you, guiding you and loving you. And you will be reunited one day for all of eternity. And also, which is in my book, is that your pets, you'll be reunited with your pets in heaven too, because Todd came to me with my childhood dog in a visitation dream. And it was so beautiful to see my childhood dog and with Todd. And and Todd said, look who's here with me. Look who I brought to visit you, you know, and my dog. He was young and healthy again and so energetic. And they came to me on my daughter's 16th birthday. So it was just so special. So I really hope that when everybody reads, and I'll I'll hold up a copy of my book, Hope from Heaven, that it will inspire you and enlighten you. And I would love to hear from my readers you know, and leave a review on Amazon or Goodreads. And I have to thank you, Dr. Harmony, for writing such a beautiful, inspirational forward in Hope from Heaven. I will always be so appreciative because you did such just an amazing, you know, job on it. I mean, you really and truly, I was like, wow, she really was spot on with everything. You know, so I'm just so thankful and I'll always be so appreciative to you. Well, it was such an honor. And I just want to say the message that I received asking for the forward from Alyssa. She had asked me not only could I do it, but could I get it done by Valentine's Day as her gift back to Todd, basically. And so I felt so inspired. All I know is I didn't know a thing about the book. I didn't know a thing about her journey. I didn't know a thing about, you know, the publishers she was working with or anything. All I knew was that I was guided from the minute I read her message that I was to follow through with that forward. And so I know Todd had came to me through reading and writing that forward with messages back to you, which was such a beautiful experience as well to be that messenger back to you. And that's how this journey works. A lot of times it comes full, full circle, right? And and I have to say, this is releasing today or tomorrow, but today is this airs. It's on my birthday. So what a birthday gift to me to be here with you to share your message, because that's what inspires me and, and helps me want to make more of an impact on the world as well. 
happy birthday, Thank Dr. Harmony. That is so beautiful. I wish you all of the blessings in the world. And maybe that's why Todd did come to me last yeah. night in a visitation dream. That's really amazing. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Well, I want to thank everyone watching and make sure to leave us a comment. Make sure to let us know if you are someone that has lost a twin flame to the other side that has passed and your experience with that. You can reach out at alyssahope.com if you'd like to learn more about her and connect with her and the link to Amazon to get her book either on the 28th or pre-order as of today for you to get hope from heaven. And I will tell you, it is a very inspiring, impactful read that you will not want to miss. Thank you for coming back, Alyssa. Thank you for sharing your message with the world. Thank oh, you for it was honoring your mission. Thank you so much, Dr. Harmony. And it was so amazing, so special to spend some time with you. Yeah. You wrote the forward to my book. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So. Make sure to like, comment, share the shine, and I will see you in the next video. May you always face your fears, find freedom, and glow forward on fire. Namaste.